All right, everybody. Show you a little bit of the Merc magic here. Dad installed the solenoid for the magic trunk. Oh yeah, that's a good sound. Nice click. It does, however, mean if the battery is dead, you are completely fucked. I have had to go through the back seat before. All right, here we are again. There's a little bit of wind, so it might end up sounding shitty. I mentioned there was a spare tire in the back of the Merc. This is my classic tire, episode two. And I love the name of this, The Untouchable by Cooper. The Untouchable. I mean, that sounds too modern, but it does have some older nomenclature for the size. Like there's a L, which I think is just standard duty, um, L78-16. Uh, so I think it was 1964-ish. The tire manufacturers started to use proper modern date codes, and uh, um, and in the early 70s they switched to the uh, well metric slash imperial numbers. So this predates that. There is a date code on this thing, but um, it doesn't really match any of the date codes you can look up now. So I assume it just predates those. If I trust the date code on here, uh, end of September 1956 was the uh, manufacture date. That could be wrong, but I can't find anything to uh, discredit that or, or back it up. Um, again, using tubeless all over the place because uh, that was still something. Four-ply polyester. Um, this is a bias ply tire, meaning they just have overlapped uh, plies of the polyester and then wrapped in uh, vulcanized rubber. So they don't have, it's not steel belted, uh, it's not a radial type situation. Nice fat whites on this. I think you can run this one either way. If you wanted a black wall, you can, you know, remount it. Um, Coker Tire in the U.S. makes some really bitchin' um, replicas of this type of tire and a whole bunch of different classic tires. I think they make them in radials, but they have the kind of big sidewall you know, bias ply look to them. Um, now, I might have to turn this over when I go to post it, but L7815 says here it replaces a previous one, 9.5 to 15, 9.15. So I don't know, that puts this I don't know if this date code is correct, but um, it still puts us in the early 60s at best, I think. And if the date code is right, then 56. So, I mean, this if that's the case, this spare has been with the car for a long fucking time. Um, the max load on this is uh, 1,970 pounds. Max air pressure, 32 PSI. Calls it load range B which I also looked up, and I think that means just general car tire, not a high inflation truck. Or, uh... Polyester. Made in the U.S. of A. Fucking A. America. Similar stuff over here, except where did I find that code? Oh yeah, you won't be able to see it. Down here, 931.56. It does say dot, but I never see that number of digits. It's supposed to be a four digit code. So, I don't know, even if it was 31st week of 56, I don't know what else to say about it. This one still holds air. I think I may have. I probably inflated this when the cars came. So, that might not be too shocking, but. The tread is freaking awesome. I would say it's damn near. There's a bit of wear on this inside, so I'd, I'd say they're not brand new, but they still got a shit ton of tread on them. That's a quality tire there. It's in much better shape than that uh, 64 Chrysler one I showed you, as far as uh, not being completely and utterly gimped. Uh, that other one had such a warp in it that uh, you wouldn't be able to hang on the steering wheel if you ever put that on a car. 
I don't intend to ever use this. Uh, if I got a flat while I was out, I would uh, definitely call AAA and just get her dealt with and do whatever I had to do here. Anyway, these are expensive as fuck to rebuy. I was talking about the Coker tire ones. I think it was going to be $1,600 American or something for me to get all four for this car in this style. Like I say, I think they were radials, but they were done, you know, in the balloon tire thing, wide white. I think the white was even wider on that one, almost almost the full size. Anyway, that is uh, definitely a classic tire. The Untouchable. That's some pretty handy marketing, uh, if this is uh, from 56. Even if it's newer than that, it can't be that new just because of those, even just the numbering. At best, or at worst, uh, 1972, I think, is when uh, some of the legalities changed over tire markings. So, sometime between 56 and 72, I guess. Anyway, the wind's coming up again. That's going to fuck everything up. That's uh, my classic tire. Have a good day. Talk soon. Bye.